Hi, my name is Eric. I'm from Manitoba, and I was one of the uh, backers of the very first Painter's Fortress. Uh, the Painter's Fortress uh, kind of caught my eye. Uh, it came out roughly around the time that my that I first got my very first FDM printer, um, and it was also my very first Kickstarter that I supported, which should say a lot. Um, I used to have a an old paint station when I first got uh, jumped headfirst into the hobby of uh, miniature painting. Um, it probably came out to about here on my desk and came up at an angle. It held a, a decent amount of paints, but it took up way too much space. And obviously, when you're limited in space, you can't do anything. Um, so the Painter's Fortress kind of helped uh, organize my life a little bit um, by being able to organize and still have easy access to all of my paints and organize them obviously by kind if you want. So I got my air paints here, I got some army paint here, I got some Citadel stuff, I got my washes, I got my speed paints and, uh, and I also got some brushes and my airbrush stuff and some other bits and bobs like files and knives. Um, but it helped uh, kind of fill the need to organize my space so I can focus more on the hobby itself and uh, not trying to remember where I put that uh, bottle of our army green, which it's right there. I know because it's, I'm organized. Um, uh, but what had uh, really drawn me into the, um, the painter's portraits was the ability to kind of print and set up your space in your own way. So for me, I needed, I mostly used these paints. I use these paints all the time. These guys are all right here. I have them organized by kind of their color wheel and I always know where they go when I'm done with them and uh, they're out of the way when I don't need them. And some of the things that I'm kind of looking forward to um, with the uh, Painter Sports V2 is the expanding of certain options for shelves or something like this where I know that there's a new stairs uh, corner piece that would go up on top here similar to this but for the corner piece I'm planning on uh, expanding up the stairs and putting some of my more uh, commonly used paints up there as well I'm also planning expanding into uh, a Vallejo paint line which I'm not going to have a lot but I'm going to have enough to fill the stairs and I want them easily accessible so that's a good spot for them um, I'm also planning on using the V2 um, the new setups in the V2 to kind of expand my uh, painter stations outward a little bit um, to probably store some more of my um, 3D printing supplies and safety equipment and all that kind of stuff to get it out of the way because it is a, a bit of a mess um, as far as that's concerned. Um, yeah, that's uh, unfortunately I don't have anything to show you as far as the V2 is concerned uh, because my printer itself, my FDM printer, has suffered a catastrophic failure as of a few weeks ago, so I have not been able to print anything for a little while, but I'm hoping to get that fixed and I can continue on expanding my, uh, my little cubby hole here, but uh, yeah, thanks for listening.